Welcome to this video. We are on a totally different engine or system. It's version 6.8.6 .6 that's on here. And we're going to make an update or upgrade of this system. Tip, when we have a terminal that's not uh, the size, when the size is not good of a window, you press on the left hold, so you keep pressing, then the right mouse click you can drag and make this any size you want. So that's an easier way than just trying to figure out where the corner is, which works as well. But Alt right, sorry, Alt left button, right click mouse, and then it's much easier anywhere in your system, in your window. So just wanted to show you what works as, as a hardware. You can rely on Tuft of B360 plus gaming from Asus. That motherboard board just works. So, updating, that's the thing. Let's update this system. Remember, the update, oh, yep. The update is, um, so yes, yes, yes. A lot of updates, three, well, actually not a lot of size. 200 megabytes to download, but when it's unpacked, total inside, installed is 3.6 gigabytes. But the net upgrade is just 40 megabytes. So it's a strange world we live in, but we are used to it. That's Arch Linux. Everything is going to be downloaded. Let's see what happens here, because I believe there was a new key ring. So the, maybe you should Google Wiki Arch key ring, because it's quite important that um, you know what this thing is. So packages are signed with keys and if a key is missing, everything holds. I have to install the new key ring. But I guess that one um, is already installed, so we don't have that issue. But we see a lot of things. These lines are there for your attention. So you know, whoa, I should do something because files have been installed to etc scale. So they will not be applied. If you don't copy the new files in, that came in here, you'll never see the extra uh, bin that we've created, extra folder, which was, was it Pac-Man? I think it was. So, um, yeah, so these give you the message that you should change some things. We've also explained to you that you have to change these policies. It's on the, on the forum and it's on Facebook. I think it's also on the well, it's surely on articlelinux.info. So, yeah, so things that you see in these uh, updates are always interesting to read and to follow up. Almost there. So I can do my etc scale copy paste, which is probably a dirty, quick, dirty way to be up to date rather than trying to figure out what elements we changed with Melt, for instance. Melt is a great application. I would pay if it would be, uh, uh, if they would ask money for it, I cannot live without a Melt. So, I can copy paste. I go to the scale folder. It's empty. Control H. It is not empty. Control A. Control C. Go to your home directory. Control V. Replace everything, please. Last but not least, never forget these two guys. So compare, it's at this point in time very important because we've changed from uh, Yahoo to uh, Yay. So we need to get rid of some of the lines. So the latest one is the one that comes from Arco Linux, right? So we don't want to mess up with your bash RC. So you really need to figure out what you keep and what you don't keep. So. The alias update here, that's actually the one I want to keep. This one, so an extra Y in there. The yay is replaced, this is gone. So I'm really keeping everything from the left to the right and editor is nano, which is great. So that's it, now we have same things. The only difference is this thing here and that's okay. That's saved, so the bash RC is the same. There were some other elements we should do the, about the ETC, there was this um, pull kit somewhere, but there is an explanation. Article next hello. Go to the forum, go 
go to known issues probably. Here it is. So I need to do this. Fine. I'm not gonna get it. Actually, anywhere, any terminal, just control shift V it. And that's done. And the other one is a line down, I think. What did I just do? I did this, just did the two doors. Yeah, so I need to do this one. So copy paste that one over. Control Shift V, and that's done. So we are up to date. The only thing we've not done yet is the last one. Control Alt T, P K S Y U A. So the J the command is not found. Super. So we can explain that. Pseudo Pacman minus R. Let's see if J is there. So nothing is here. So we say this time Trizen J bin, which is faster than installing J. If you install J, it means that you have to uh, get Go, and Go is about 500 megabytes, which is rather big. So if you have an update, you have to again build it, and it takes a while. So the J bin is much faster. So that's why we use the J. So. Now yay is present. Whoa, a lot of things need to be updated. It has been a while, as you see. 28 packages, all coming from AUR. So these are not coming from Arch Linux, not coming from Arco Linux. These are coming from people on the net, anywhere on the net, in coming from Red Hat systems, from Debian systems, anywhere. And um, they are then built and extracted with their recipes called package builds. And the only thing we have to do is hope that these guys have made a beautiful package build that there are no errors and everything installs. If there is an error, you go to the website, maybe like, do it as well. So AOR, Arch Linux, these are people not connected with uh, Arch Linux. Of course, they, they run these applications there, but it's um, volunteers making these package builds let's take a look at one so this is a package build making these things so we can have spotify in this example on our system so yeah things can go wrong the only thing you need to do and people have done it already you see it's red why is it red flagged out of date so if you see that there is a newer version online and you have an old version or it's not working then you just make an account here and say flag out of date it means that the person developing this gets a message so this maintainer a weather gets a mail and said okay package is out of date because we can't follow up all these uh, recipes in this package build so help the aor maintainers by flagging it out of date so that being said um well we will not wait for all these updates to come along what we can do as well is uh, make some publicity since we have are now one year old Arco Linux exists exactly for one year and I'd like to have a new wallpaper. There is an anniversary present here and I've never made any tutorial. I very silently have created this one, Meta. And Arco Linux Meta is going to install all packages for this resolution. So there is three, four, five, six, seven packages, eight packages, eight packages are of this resolution and I'll explain in a tutorial later on how to build the meta package but this is the one so I want to get the meta package in 384 and that's it what it'll do is get eight packages in one go which is nice which is also 510 megabyte I'm not worried but it's a lot of wallpapers coming in just with one name and it's actually a dependency you can check out the package build i'll explain later and this guy says hey database lock is present waiting of course i'm installing here so he locked up the database pacman and we wait this is a beautiful thing from yay just waits and so you can do th two things at the time uh, install two things and we'll just wait until uh, it's done now, 
it is 500 megabytes so give it some time what i've not done i see in the in the uh, megabytes per second here is a, do a mirror so don't forget from time to time once a month or so do a mirror so you have the fastest service around almost there can we make it bigger um no we can't but it's um eight lines we need to have eight lines one two three four five six seven eight and the meta package so he's installing the one and the two and the three and the four and the five and when that's done let's set our wallpaper i do like the lines but let's set the wallpaper so yeah he's kicking off he's going again right go ahead so right mouse click desktop settings the wallpapers these are coming from desktopper which is quite nice this one is particularly very nice and um well it needs to go somewhere else so you say go look in for instance where can i go this one home no the root user share backgrounds that's enough i hope should we go a little bit deeper? It's possible. So this one, yeah. Then he responds. So there are some wallpapers, some differences. Particularly like this one, because of the arc theme we have. Let's kill this one and open it again. So it's nice again. That's because we copy pasted our etc scale. He doesn't like it when you do that when he's open so he's just doing his job and updating everything and we have already a newer version we are actually at 18.9.5 correct yeah I think so and that means that you can go to the file system etc lsb release uh, that's not the wrong <laughs> that's not what the one lsb release again what happened LSB release. So 1.4 Apple Linux, okay. 18.9.5. Kirk is no longer important for us. Don't do that anymore. And we save it. And that means that we have now a system that's up to date again. 18.9.5. Maybe I have forgotten something. If you are doing this rolling release thing with me then it's always a good thing to go to the releases so um pop 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 where is it blog releases this is the latest release and if you forgot something now you can check it up here the scripts the sarti my everything changed control delete okay that's new we have a new script it's called pacman one yay let's have a look Pacman 1. Yep, it does work. Remember the tip. Right mouse click, Alt to the left, and here's Pacman 1. So Pacman 2 is there as well. And future efforts. Okay, upgrading everything. Yay bin, we've done that. Bash RC, we've done that. Okay, so I think we're up to date and everything is now done. So another tutorial how to be a rolling article Linux. All right, cheers.